Hey everybody, welcome back. It's uh, Workers and Resources. I hope you're having a great day today. Our coal train is leaving the station and so is uh, our oil. I guess our oil is going into the station right now. We have a lot of unemployed people and I'd like to get them to work if possible. Also, look at these stupid helicopters. Just like, hey man, are you almost done down there? It's the only place to get gravel, yo. Yeah, man, we could really use some gravel. Could we get some? Yeah, totally. It's the only place in the whole damn place. Yeah, okay. So I think what I need to do also is add a three by uh, on the helicopter port or the helicopter pad right here. One of these three by uh, pads. And I don't know, I don't think that will actually fit here. I might be able to rework something. Uh, maybe get rid of this forklift garage, actually, and just fit it right here. It would it would work. I mean, feasibly that that could work uh, if I get rid of the forklift garage. And I could just, or maybe just move the forklift garage over. You know, that would probably work better. Maybe get rid of this bus stop since we have the train anyway. It's an idea. I'll look into it. But right now, the helicopters just sit there and hover, and actually wonder if they consume fuel while they're sitting there. Well, they absolutely do. Yep. So they're, they're a fuel hog. Helicopters are actually very expensive with fuel, which is why we can't sell a lot of fuel. Uh, like, we're, we're, we're doing okay selling fuel, but it's not, like, anything extreme. It is June 11th, 1974. We've uh, I've let it run for quite a little while here just to kind of let things build. And you can see that we've got some of these building or some of these roads are getting in. I paid for this gravel road because I'm impatient. Uh, we've got the highway. Look at this highway, huh? It's 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 all coming together here, dude. I planted some trees in the middle of it just to kind of make it look good. Yeah. So now, like, we got two one-way roads. They can they can go as fast as they want, and as you see, they definitely don't. They're not smart enough to just you know pass right by them. This is a truck that goes 70. This can go 87. I guess it's not that different, but still, like, come on now. Uh, so the, the highway ends here at the moment. I was thinking about bringing it all the way over here, but then I thought, why don't I... I might be able to just bring it, you know, on the other side of this. So it's like, if you want to go that way, this can be like a one-way, so they have to go that way. I don't really care, though. That's the thing. Like, I, I don't... Uh, I think this is probably fine. I could bring it all the way up to here and maybe have it stop right there. This is a short enough distance for two-way traffic. That's not a big deal. Uh, okay, so um, I'm, it's going to be a little bit, I know, until I can read your comments related to this. And uh, rather than paying for all this stuff and finding out the hard way, I'm, I am just going to wait for your comments about this. So uh, they've started construction on the uh, grain storage, which is totally fine with me. They have started on this agro farm as well. But I have these ones, all the rest of them, except the, except the first one. Uh, I have all the rest of these as construction paused. So they shouldn't do any more work on these. They will build the roads as they're currently doing, but they're not going to do any more work on those. So I said we have lots of unemployed. That's because there's 214 people still waiting at this train platform. Like it's absolutely nuts. So uh, I'd like to give them jobs while simultaneously cutting my own costs uh, a little bit. I have to buy another train. No, I do not have to buy another train. I just have to set up a whole new route for my coal train. Which, honestly, it's not spending that much money. If you think about how much money it costs to buy coal at the border, compare it to how much cost it is to set up that entire coal network, that's probably not worth it, actually. And uh, steel, in hindsight, if I had to go back all the way back and do it over again, I would say that I like where steel is set up, but I could have done it here instead. Because then it would have been kind of the intermediary point between two. Could have had this one iron source feeding it and then just buy coal at the border. Because coal is pretty cheap. I mean, 360 tons, we're talking 13,000 rubles worth. But every time I buy it, it's 13,000 this time, 13,000 next time, 13,000. It just keeps happening, right? And that adds up to millions of dollars. So over the long term. So, um, yeah. I mean, this is a, this is millions of dollars to set up. So at least it would be if it wasn't my resources. I'm gonna totally take this. Yeah, I'm gonna take this and have this finished. Uh, you know what? Not with rubles. Let's stick it to the man. We'll use dollars to finish it. So this one here, it's only a couple of extra dollars. There we go. Looks like I have to get the road too, though. Although the walking path is, I think, enough. Unless it catches fire. Catching fire would be bad, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know about catching fire, but this right here, 
We got this ready to go. So pretty much this entire thing is ready to go now. Uh, let me take a quick look at our rail network. And I would like to start today expanding over into Escan <laughs> Escatambula. Get these people hooked up. And this is also going to give me access to the rest of this oil. This is a very costly project. It will take a long time to do. We're going to build this whole thing with our resources. But it's just something that's like an ongoing thing that we'll set up. Speaking of ongoing thing to set up, my rail yards, my rail construction office has almost nothing to do right now. Um, so, yeah, let's give it something to do. So all the way over here, we're going to set up a, a way to bring all the resources we need into this area for them. So to do that, I'm going to get a cargo. I think it's called a car yeah, cargo train station. And we're going to build this. I kind of want it on this side so that I can have like places for these guys to work right here. I'm really tempted to just scrap all of these old houses and replace them with prefabs because these things just they do not have enough workers. So I might I might do that. But I do like I want to keep it for the steel town, the city of steel. I like that old town neighborhood. Let's, 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 here, I'll show you. And then I'm going to like uh, let's set this to be maybe I don't know, like right here. Let's try it in the middle, like right here. So we'll set this to be built here. And then uh, the rails, we're going to have them come off of this. Probably about right here, like this. Actually, let's let's curve it out. Let's curve it to, yeah, about here. And then over like this. Yeah, straight, straight through like this. And then uh, this rail will do the exact same thing. Just hug this. Wrap it around. Oh, see, you can't wrap it around. So we'll cancel the plans and do it again. Maybe we'll have you go in a straight line instead. I, I, I could put it on this side. I could. Um, but what I'm trying to do is get it hooked up with factory connections to critical infrastructure that these guys are going to use, like the grocery store. I could just have it be right here. So as soon as the train drops that stuff off, it goes to a warehouse, which is instantly loaded into this truckless. I don't have to have trucks do it. The train does it done. I don't have to think about it. And I like that. So we're going to try to see if I can make that happen instead. Um, so we're going to go. Sh thought I could go straight there. Maybe maybe here. Where can I go straight at? This is, there's still like a little a little curve. I want to kind of avoid the curve. At least or at least stay ahead of it. <laughs> oh, God, the dad jokes make them stop. Never. OK, we're going to come this way. And then we'll go this way. Hopefully this allows me to do it does indeed pretty sure it does wait a minute wait a minute i think it did but it um i, I yeah i think it did but i needed to, to do it from another from like further away because it was right there and then it just said no which is so lame so so lame seriously here try that really really game you're gonna yeah, well, and it is really close to the road, I guess. Okay, I'll just do this really quick. Okay, we come out a little bit further. And then we go in like so. And there we go. So we'll have these two hooked up here. And this will just be a cargo yard, right? It's it's all about just dropping off clothes, food, meat, etc. And it all gets pumped into this little area where all these guys can access it. I mean, not all of them. These guys are going to have to walk a lot. But I'll probably put extra walking paths in to get there. Or I'll just scrap this part of the neighborhood entirely and rebuild it. Because we have oil right here. And this might be a nice place to set up those uh, refineries and stuff. General though, in general, I like to keep it keep them away from it, like because of pollution and stuff. So eh, maybe not. Um, also, getting a road hook up here might not be too bad of an idea, just in case we have to buy something. There's no rail hook up here though; it's super lame. <laughs> Let's come all the way like so. We'll just hook this up to this road right here. Seems good. Well, it's a hundred thousand dollars for that. Yikes. Okay, so uh, oh, it's rubles. We're really far away from the border. And at this point, it, it really, if you're going to buy, any, if you're going to pay anything, it really makes a lot more sense to, to go with dollars instead. I mean, I guess maybe not for everything, but I feel like for some, for most things, if you need a lot of stuff delivered, the, the labor isn't that big of a deal. But if you need a lot of resources still, like uh, this one doesn't need any more resources, but this one does. And so I think there will be a pretty good difference here. 
Yeah, not really. Wow. Really? 77 tons of steel? The import cost has got to be crazy there, right? Huh. That is peculiar. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I want to get people out here, right? We have a passenger train station. This is great. No tourists here. Uh, I think no passengers here. Really, we just want workers. So it's workers come here, workers leave. This is all you do. You come here for work, and that's it. Uh, and then we're going to have you work here and there. And then I, if maybe if this gets done, actually, it looks like it is done. So, okay, we'll have you work there too. Uh, all the coal processing is going to happen right here. I think the processing plant takes 15 workers. Oh, you know what? I bet the mines are... Yeah, the mines are where all the labor is. Oh, no. Uh, so, this is number two. Number one's actually not done yet. I'm not going to pay for it either. So, let's. Uh, we'll just get rid of this one for now. So, all the workers actually need to go here. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, processing is not nearly as labor-intensive. Now, we need to get power out here, too. And uh, I'm thinking... Uh, like... We're at the tip of the we're at the tip of what we can afford. I think what I'm gonna do here, which I question this, as far as like is legitimacy or whether or not this is a good idea or whatever. But I think temporarily, actually, I have high. Well, now I've got high voltage coming from here. I wonder if I could just split this off and take it that way. It is technically more forward than this. I think it would be cheaper to go over here. And certainly it would be easier to hook this town up to power if I did that. So maybe I will go from this way. I kind of think I'm changing my mind here. So how I would do this then, I need to allow for basically a lot of wattage to come this way. So I'm looking at this thinking, hey, power lines. Currently, I think we're using the 14s. I think it's the 14. It's the one that has... Well, I really don't know, actually. Uh, I think it's... this crossing not allowed. This is the same one. Yeah, so it looks like we're using the 15 here, which is actually not bad. That's okay. That's okay. We have a we have a spare out here, actually, too. I could just run it here. Hmm. Although these are 15s, too, I think, right? They might be 14s. I don't know why I would do that, though. These are all the same. Yeah, yeah, so this is all the same. This switch doesn't mean anything right now. We'll get another switch right here, and then we'll run it from here. So we'll take this, power this down temporarily. We'll run the 15 into a switch, which will be located here, I guess. Off the backside here. And we'll run this 15 into this switch. Ooh, it's not a 15. It must be a 14. Ooh, okay, so I think the coal mines and stuff is pretty good. I don't know if all of these, if these coal mines will take this much power. I would be actually pretty impressed. But this line is also responsible for all of this. And it's probably under load. Let's see. Not really, it's pretty green actually. I don't, oh, well, actually, now it's white because it's off. Stop running time without power. Uh, <laughs> dumbass. Let's go. Uh, there we go. You will not make the steel, jackass. Uh, yes, I, I'm that old. I watched that movie yesterday. It's in my head. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's go. Let's let's pull ten. Eight. Maybe we pull eight. Uh, maybe eight will be enough for that area. <sighs> Just in case it's not, let's pull ten. We'll bring ten all the way over here. So it's a long cable. And it's going to come at least to here. And then I think over from here. Oh my god, it's so expensive. Oh. <laughs> Why is it so pricey? Because these are high voltage uh, cables. They are very pricey. That's how they work. Um, so we're going to want to... We're going to want a transformer right here. Yeah, uh, switch in a transformer here. So let's just real quick take these away. We'll get a switch in on this side... Uh, like this. And we're going to get a transformer set up, I think, right here. Like, uh, I don't want to get too close to the road, though. I might want to use that space. So let's go like that. Okay. So the 10 comes into this. And uh, 
I really doubt this city is going to need a whole lot of power. So I'm going to allow... I don't want to go all the way down to 8. So I'm going to allow potentially the full blunt of this to go that way. But we're going to leave open at least 4 for the town. So we're going to go that way. And I think I'm going to have all of this purchased right now with rubles. Yeah, I want this set up now. I want to get coal going now. The quicker I get this done, the... Uh... The thing is, though, guys, we're making all of this stuff. I can have it for free if I'm just going to wait. Let's just make it with our own stuff. But this one has to this one has to be built, though. I have to build this one. Uh, we'll use dollars for that. And we'll use rubles for that, let's say. And uh, we'll use at least some rubles for this, too. Because I need the power hooked up to the steel plant. Now it's just missing coal. Okay, good. So the rest of these, though, we're just going to build them with resources. Let's see how that goes. Gosh, I don't know. I've never built power lines with resources. But, I mean, this is the reason for setting up that infrastructure with this building and everything. Yeah, I mean, I bought a little bit of plastic to put in here. So it's it's working through that. But, um, you know, like we've got chemicals. I brought chemicals here. And, and look, we have some electric components is right there. So... We might as well just let it go so we'll plan on running this out there and uh the thing is how much is this all right so thirty-eight thousand. let's examine this if i can get the coal train and all this stuff running i give people jobs which gives them hope and purpose <laughs> and then uh we can give them a uh, a train right and then that coal train can just go and load up a bunch of coal from here which is way faster and uh, then going way over there, plus it costs me nothing. And that's, you know, obviously what I want. In the meantime, though, this stuff can be hooked up with the passenger train. So what I'm thinking of doing here is I'm going to change. This is temporary, um, but I, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be okay. <sighs> Probably not. They're going to be waiting too long. I think I need another train for this. Uh, let's get another. Yeah, let's get another train. It's probably safe to get another train. We're going to do it from this depot now. And uh, I think let's look at a motor wagon. Ooh, we have a new one. A motor car. It takes 85 passengers. It's slower, but it weighs a lot less. And uh, it has, uh, you know, less power, so it probably uses less fuel. It's also significantly cheaper. And since it doesn't have to travel that far, yeah, this can be our coal one. I'm good with this. Yeah. Um, do we have any any new, uh, let's see, uh, passenger wagons? Do we have any new ones here? This one hauls 110. Yeah, 110, 155. That's pretty good. 45 tons. It's also one of the cheaper cheaper ones. Eh, no, not really. This one's the cheapest one. 125. I like... Like, I feel like I should buy two of these instead of one of these. And I'm saving on the on the weight anyway here, so... I mean, maybe. Yeah? Should we do it? Yeah? Go on, let's do it. We'll have this one. And... I don't think I need another one. I mean, we're talking 200 people already. Yeah, we'll probably need one more. Okay. We'll add on these two wagons. Uh, so what you're going to do is you are going to be a train, be a little engine that can bring people from here all the way over to here. Hmm? This is your purpose in life now. And then these guys will be able to work in these and get coal processed. And then we can start running the coal train here instead. So let's go ahead and have you start your route. Now, I want to check my signaling really quick because I haven't really used this line before. So we want to make some lines here so that trains are, can feel like they can enter these zones when uh, when there's other trains working on it. So um, like here, this new line which is nice, bright, hot pink. I like this, but once the train gets here and starts making this, this whole thing is considered one zone. So trains are not going to want to enter here. Even if they're going that way, they're not going to want to do that as long as there's construction here. So what we're going to want to do is separate this zone a little bit. So I'm going to have one SEMA 4 go here and one SEMA 4 go here. That'll separate it out a little bit. And then we'll have one SEMA 4 go uh, just like right here. 
and we'll have another one uh, be a chain one going in this direction on this side now the reason of, uh, i'm just just a tiny train tutorial the reason why we use a chain one here is because we want the signal to chain up with the other semaphores so that when a train is in this area it will trigger and when it leaves this area it will trigger again and allow them to go through you would typically want to do this with um this one as well but with this one everyone's heading this direction anyway so you end up with a train that is basically never going to have a problem crossing except from except from this side so uh in other words i don't th well now I'm, I'm trying to think here no you this is still a junction you still want one here yeah, yeah i'm wrong i still want one here so go um go chain this way yep and then this one's a single okay uh so we're good here and then once we get to this track we'll want to put a chain on this one here as well and and that will make this sort of like this this area of well it just makes it this cautious area yeah i'm gonna call it with cautious area uh we can we have a little uh pass by here so i didn't go all the way with the, with this track but i went far enough to where trains could stop and like bypass each other if that if need be so uh we'll put a chain on this one here going that direction and we'll put this one going this way and then this one here we're gonna go and put this as a two-way and i think not, we don't want to chain or anything here so this is going to be a two-way it's going to let people pass by here but as they move this direction if they enter here in fact you know what i should i think i should do move this just a little bit further back yeah i think right about well honestly it might be better to put it over here because if there's a train in this area like i need it to leave i did i need it to stay out of the way right i think that is the case um it might be actually good just to finish this track eventually we will finish this track but um you know i'm gonna put this i'm gonna say right here instead and i'll chain this up like so uh with a mix sorry with a mix and then so it'll it'll stop here if it can't and it'll keep going if it can and then that that makes this entire section light up so a, a train basically right now will wait here if there's a train uh here because that means the train is coming and it's already on its way to here and i don't want to block it um in fact you know it might be better just to move that back here yeah unless it's actually docked here it receiving coal like if it's already on its way i want you to wait basically that's that's what's got to happen here all right uh temporarily and then i'll probably end up doing the double track anyway uh okay we need to pause really quick because i'm gonna have people going over there to work and there's no power and i've decided yep the decision's about to be made i know we have resources i know i can save a whole bunch of money in my car insurance by switching to geico but i'm gonna just go ahead and uh go like this and my rubles are gonna stay at a holiday and express tonight oh man i am all over this guys i'm telling you it's, it's so lame they don't even make sense half the time <laughs> okay now that i've lost half of you for terrible jokes um let's get power set up here so we're gonna need a split uh on this yeah i think i'm gonna split this so we're gonna do another high voltage switch um here it is the question mark right here yep like i mean it makes more sense to go back this way though it sure does because i'm going that direction yes i take that back i don't want this built okay move the switch over to where we're gonna bring it anyway so move the switch over to here yeah and it looks like it's gonna have to be maybe like this and then i'll just have the road go like that across it really oh it's the the rail is so close to the road that i can't connect anything to it that's bonkers okay uh wow i don't think i had that i didn't know that was going to happen but it's too late now it's already done so uh never mind we'll just have you sit here or maybe we'll go like this from where we can cross come on let me cross there we go like this and then we'll hook it up like that okay no no big deal whoops uh the the purpose for this is of course to connect it for fire stations speaking of which workers are coming in here we're gonna need a fire department here 
Ah, uh, cuz if anything breaks out in fire with fire here, uh, that's a very expensive rebuild. So let's make sure we're protecting our investment, huh? Uh, we're gonna get a fire station. Yep, there it is. Got it. And we're gonna put that right here so that people can get to work immediately where they need to be at work. So right about, yeah, I think right right next to this right here. And I want helicopter. Yeah, I want a helicopter on this too. Uh, we'll put it like this, like this, yeah, like this. And you know what? That's a that's a build. Sixty five thousand rubles. Ugh! I mean, tell you what, it's if I don't build it and there's a fire that breaks out, I'm gonna be really mad at myself, right? Like that's gonna be I'm gonna be furious. Great vengeance and uh, probably furious anger. <laughs> Uh, bring it this way. Yeah, we're gonna say build with rubles here, and we're just gonna go over the tracks and hook this up at uh, the switch there. Okay, so we've got the power hooked up. Now we want to run from that switch. We want to run a. Uh... You know what? Does it really need to be a switch though? It doesn't need to be a switch. No, it doesn't need to be a switch. I take all of it back. The road's not a waste, um, but I, I think I'd rather just do a transformer here. The road isn't a waste, though. We're still going to use it. We'll put it here instead because it can be built there. And then we'll run this to there. There we go. It didn't waste a whole lot of money. Um, the switches and stuff are pretty inexpensive. I guess 8,000 is still pricey at this rate, but eh, whatever. Uh, we'll get rid of our road with this stupid tool and bring it over here. Oh, now it can be here. Well, okay. Whatever. Here. Stupid tool. All right. And then we probably want this to be on this side too because of the fire department. Why don't we give it a gravel road here? I'll pay for it. Whatever. 21,000, I will not pay for this. I will not pay for this. That's gonna be built with resources. There you go. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pay for this. Fork it over, let's go. Uh, so what we want is a substation over here, which can manage, I want all four of these things managed by this one substation. Can I please have that? Dude, don't do this. Don't do this thing where you're like microns away from working for everything, okay? I really, oh, I'm so annoyed. Look at this. Look at how embarrassing this is. This is so embarrassing. This sucks. Well, you know what? I'm gonna hook this up to three. Can I do that? Dude, I am terrible at this game. Like, I'm so bad at this. What, what the hell is wrong with me? Can I not get lucky for anything? I swear. This is, this is the worst. <laughs> this is so bad. All right, well, whatever. Uh, we'll put the substation here. Fine. Then we'll come over here, and I guess we'll put a substation here. Because I can't have it both ways. I can't have both of these in range. It's stupid. I can have it as close as I can, though. So there's that. And then this substation can hopefully cover everything. Please, oh, pretty please cover everything. It does not. It doesn't cover the trains. Oh, wait, wait, maybe it does. Oh, hang on. I think I got everything there. Yeah. Yes, it does. Good. Um, wait. No, it doesn't have that. It doesn't have that. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta have that. All right. Well, we're definitely splitting up the power then, aren't we? Let's get another one right here. That should do. Like that. Oh, it won't let me place it. Uh, I can be on this road, though. Yeah, right there is fine. How am I getting it there? Power cable, I mean. I don't think I'm getting it there. Also, this has a road connection, so, I mean, I can always put it closer, too. Whatever. Just do it. Right? Here's fine. Okay, so everything is connected on this side, and then uh, over here, we need these two things. I think minimum, right? It's just these two things? Yeah. Yeah, because we're not putting that anymore. So just these two things, and it'll be like, like this. All right. Let's go and route our power cables. Uh, I, I don't know how energy intensive any of this stuff is. I know these are tens, so doing 2.35 on all these is maybe not needed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and out on a limb here and say I need a really small one for this over here. 
I probably don't even need this much, honestly. Why don't we try this? What, this is a new approach. Why don't we start with the absolute dirt cheap wires and see if we ever have to ch change them, you know? Like, do we ever, do we need to upgrade them? Maybe not, you know? It's possible we don't even need to. Uh, then we're gonna run, I think we'll, I think I will actually take, cause this is, this is a mine. So we'll go at least this voltage. Again, I don't know if I need to, but we're gonna take at least this voltage uh, to here and bring it over like that. Is that hooked up? Oh, it's uh, not because this is in the way. Ah, so this is my this is how I'm getting workers here, by the way. This is really far away from this train station. So I'm getting workers here to this on this mine by helicopter. There's a there's actually a helicopter pad going in over here. Yeah, yeah. Let's bring you all the way over to there. Cool. Hopefully it's cool. We're building it with rubles. OK, uh, next we'll bring power from this point. Uh, along the same lines, but this time we're gonna go up Nope, we're gonna go over again. Yep right to here and then connect it there Excellent also probably should make sure the substations exist That would be a good idea You know for the sake of getting power there. I just finished that road. Well, okay Use dollars for that one Okay substation doesn't exist. Let's make it so Outstanding that will activate the train yard for this, but we don't even have this mine even started yet They didn't even start it yet, man. And why would they? <laughs> I don't know We already thankfully that's the iron mine. We already have a source of iron at least so we're good uh, so Looks like There's no road connection here, but there is this path and it's accessible. They can walk here I had to put that walk path in otherwise this, they wouldn't even been able to get to this mine. So I can get here. Train station is set for just workers. Yep. No tourists, no visitors, no nothing. It's all just workers. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is I, I'm gonna give it the full wattage on this one, because this is everything. And I, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that this thing can work. So we'll bring it across the tracks on this side. And uh, let's go. You know what? We don't even need to go across the tracks. We'll go here. And we'll go over this way. Yep, hook from there. And then straight to here. And then over like that. Build it. And then this one needs power. That one can go a little lighter. We'll uh, we'll try the one, two. See how this works. Yeah, run it right alongside. Yeah, right alongside if you'll let me. I guess I have to cross here, which is kind of bleh. But whatever. Can I just go straight over? Or... Oh, it will let me do that. That's cool. Um, I don't, I don't want to, uh, do that from the train station, but I'll do it from here. Yeah, right here. And then hook it up there, pay for it. All right, I think there's one more station, isn't there? Or is that it? Did I get everything powered? I mean, the lines are all green, so I assume that means we're good. Provided, of course, the substations exist. Because they don't exist. So, build that one and build this one. Okay, let me see the power. Okay, cool. So this one is is good. I like I like seeing yellow and then it's green and then we're good. Yeah. So everything's powered here now. We should be ready to rock. Uh yeah, we're good. Uh real quick check on the train lines. So we're gonna have a train going this direction on the right side, and then they have to come back on the left side. The only way to do that is to put a cross in here. So why don't we have a cross go? Let's say there. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna fight me. Doing this on a curve is always harder, but I want I want to. I want to put it right here and right. Uh, never mind. We'll put it. Uh, oh, train's waiting too long. What? Dude, I haven't had a train problem in forever. So this is probably like, you know, some idiot train doing idiot train things. Give me a second. Come on. Good enough? I think good enough. Let's build that. And then we're gonna, just real quick, I'm gonna put in a, a chain here. Wait for it. Get this back like that. And then we'll put this, put this chain, let's say there. And we'll put you like so. All right, that's gonna allow 
that's going to allow us to have a train come in here and then get out. Uh, wait, no, I need to allow them to switch sides. That's the entire point. Yeah, okay, well... If they come in on this side, they need to be able to get there right away. So I think that's how we're going to do this. I'm just going to put one little track in right here. Or not. Yep, right there. And then they'll be able to come in here, drop people off, and then they leave out that way. This is the same thing. I guess if we're going to do that, though, we certainly don't even need this, do we? Whatever. It's fine. Uh, and then we'll put a couple of increments in here, too. Because, again, with this whole being... With this thing being an entire section, if there's a train in here at all, the train's going to wait. And we don't want it to wait. So I'm going to put in some incremental... Oh, I already did. On this side, I already did. Cool. Uh, we'll just go back like this. And then we'll pop another one. Let's say there. No problem. Piece of cake. And let's put one more right here, let's say. And face it that way, and we're good. Okay. We already have that train set up. And this stuff is already marked, and we're we're good there. What happened to my... Wait, what? Oh, no. These tracks weren't... Oh, these were plans, and I canceled it when I was messing with that. Well, I'll have to put them back. I'll put them back in again. Whatever, we'll just go out like this. And then we curve it this way. And then we curve it this way. And then we run the same thing in this direction. Around here like so. Until it hooks up there. And we say, build it, please. And these signals are already in, so we're good. Okay. Greetings, coal train. Are you all ready to go to work? Oh, come on in. Come on, fill up the train. Yes. Come into the train, my workers. Into the train you come. Both trains, too. That train platform was at zero waiting for a very split second. Oh, that makes me so happy. Look at this. Here we go, baby. Our coal is starting now. This train goes all the way through. If it needs fuel, it stops and refuels, and then off it goes. All the way on a big rail adventure. All the way over to coal. I want to see this work today. I do. Uh, hang on. Let me just make sure we have... Yeah, I don't really like these big, long uh, sections like this. I, wanna, I want trains to be able to, if they'd like to, operate closer together. There really is no reason to stop here, though. There's no crossing whatsoever. This, sh this should not deter them. I shouldn't need to signal like that. There's no crossing. And, you know, honestly, this doesn't need to be two-way anymore. It was two-way because of... Um, because train tracks were being built. That's why these things are all two-way. But they don't need to be. So after this train platform, we're going to say that this is a one-way and this is a one-way. And then they, these things just go one-way only. And then all the way over through here is still one-way. Let's just kind of... We'll just keep it going. One-way like that. One-way like that. And then, yeah, we're going to go one-way this way and one-way this way. And then... You are going to be... Actually, I don't need you. I don't... I, I need... You know, you know what? Here. I, I want you back here like this. Yeah, there we go. And then uh, I, I made all these... Again, I made all these two ways because they were being... Um, the trains were being built. And with the, with the track being built, I, I need... You know, it, you get it. I think you get it. If you don't get it, well, um, I guess I'll ex try to explain it to you, I guess. But um, I don't think it's... Hard to understand. If the construction train has to come back on the same rail it built, then that rail must be marked as two-way. But the rail here was already built, and this stuff was all the same section. So if I'm having a train being built over here, it's going to stop trains here because it's all one section. So I put the markers in incrementally to, to separate it. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so here's this, and like this. Uh, you are going to be on the right side, so you're going to be chain this direction. And you're going to be clear here. You're going to be chain this direction. You are chain this direction only. You are good clearing there. You're going to clear there. That's fine. Hello, helicopter. What are you... Oh, did you just drop off that vehicle to pave this road? Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, let's go this way. Yep. Good, good. And good, good. Okay, you are going to be a one-way in that direction. 
Yep, and then we go that way, and then we chain you here. Although, I don't think I need to chain you. Well, I'm chaining you because you might go straight, and if you go straight and there's things happening, then that's why. And I need to do it before this, because if a train's coming this way, then I need to stop you here, so that's why. Uh, let me come all the way over here. These should be one way now. I think I changed them just now. Yep. All the way through. Let's allow this to kind of work a little bit closer together. And again, I don't know why I would need to change these signals because like there's no crossing here. So it doesn't make sense to need the lights, but we'll put them in anyway. They, they're free. So whatever. And then we have a chain here, here. Then this train goes that way. Yep. Okay. And you crossed already. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. Check the coal. We are processing coal, baby. Yes. Look what we have created. Oh, yes. And you know what I forgot to do? Uh, I think I forgot to do... Uh-oh. Did I... Did I mess this up? Uh, I think I might have messed this up, guys. I think I messed this up because there's no aggregate storage for coal. Shit. <laughs> there's no aggregate storage for coal. I also totally do not need two belts. Because there's no additional... These do not have a throughput limitation. These are instantaneous. So, uh, like, there's a limit, right, on the push and pull. But um, adding two belts does not increase that limit. So, I think what I messed up here... We have the aggregate for, for coal ore. That part's in. Absolutely. But I don't have an aggregate for coal. So, once it fills up... Um, like, it's just going to stop producing. <laughs> Shit. That's not right. Okay. Um, how big do I need to fill a single train? Probably going to want to ha have maybe a thousand tons in a train. So, I'm going to need a big one, right? Oh, no. It's not as bad as I could have been. <laughs> That's what I'm going to go with. Yeah. Not as bad as it could have been.